Okay, so for student student access to your videos in Canvas, there's there's still a couple different ways that you can give your students access. And the first one is just the um, the Panopto video tab. So essentially, students can uh, come over here and they can click Panopto video, and that will just take them into your uh, Canvas video folder. And then all your videos are good, just kind of be kind of dropped in here together, and then they have to select the right video and watch it. That is the uh, least amount of work for you as the instructor, um, because it happens automatically. As soon as you drop a video in the folder, it appears there. However, it's less organized for your students. So all your video is gonna be thrown into one folder and they have to keep track of which one they need to watch. Um, another downside, and this is a temporary problem, but for now, those videos will not copy to next semester. Now, Canvas, sorry, Panopto is working on that feature. So it is currently in beta. I've tested it and it seems to work okay. But for now, um, I can show you how to copy videos from semester to semester, or if you don't want to deal with it, it's not difficult, but it's also not difficult for um, myself or for someone in the Faculty Success Center to do it for you because we have access, we have admin access to all your videos. Um, if you need help with it, honestly, just shoot us an email. We'll, we'll get stuff moved over for you in the meantime. The second way of having students access your video is to embed them. So um, the new the new rich content editor is out. Uh, remind <laughs> as a reminder, rich content editor or RCE is just a way of saying uh, the fancy text box that appears all over Canvas that lets you add things like video and content to your course. Um, Panopto lives in the rich content editor for you to embed your videos into pages. So what I would need to do. Um, is I'm going to go to my course home and I'm going to pull up my um, module one overview. So I'm going to come here. This is a Canvas page, but you could also do this in like an assignment or a discussion post or something like that. I'm going to edit the page. Um, this is the new rich content editor that became um, the standard RCE for all Canvas classes on January 16. So if you're not quite used to using it, um, we actually have a workshop on that. So you can you can view that on our YouTube channel. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find Panopto in this uh, plugin button. So when I first click on it, notice that it gives me Panopto video right away. That's not going to work for you until you've used it once. So what I'm going to do is view all and I'm going to search for it. So I'm just going to type in Panopto and boom, there it is. I'm going to click on it. And what it's going to do, I'm going to zoom back out a little bit, um, is it's going to go searching for the videos in my class folder. Now, uh, you can see at the top, I have my class folder right here. You can choose videos from other folders as well if you need to. Um, so if you have something in your My folder, for example, that you want to share, you can totally do that. Um, and I'm just going to pick the video I just made. And I'm going to hit the blue button at the bottom that says Insert. Um, if you want to have a little bit more control over the video that you're posting, you can click this little up caret next to Video Embed Options. And you get some extra options like autoplay. Um, you can start you can start the video at a certain point, whatever. Um, you can change the uh, size of the video right here. So that's just if you want a little bit more control over how it will embed, uh, you can use that. Um, if you want to skip that, you can just hit insert, and it will embed that video right into my Canvas page, and then students can just play it right from within here. Um, so the benefit of doing that, uh, it's more organized, so you can embed your video or videos, you could do multiple in a row, um, wherever it is in your Canvas course that you want students to watch them. They don't have to go in and try to find the video that you want them to watch. Um, the other benefit is that currently, even with the course copy uh, shenanigans that, <laughs> that are going on, um, if you if you go through all the work of embedding these videos, they will still work next semester if you do a course copy. 
Okay, so you're not going to have to re-embed all of those videos next semester necessarily. However, it's not actually making a copy of the video itself, if that makes sense. So if I embed, you know, one video per week, I have, you know, module one, module two, module three, you know, I have paid, you know, I have a page for lecture videos with each one and I embed the video. Um, and then I copy over my class to summer semester. The students will be able to watch those videos. However, the video is still living in my winter semester folder. And so if I go and look at like the viewing statistics, for example, um, you'll see the summer statistics and the winter stati statistics. I can't say statistics, apparently. Um, you'll see them all mashed up into the same video. Um, whether or not that's a problem for you is totally up to you. Um, maybe you don't care or whatever. I know lots of instructors who are doing it this way and they just, you know, doesn't bother them. Um, I just, wa just want you to let you know that when you do the course copy, the video itself is not copying. Um, it's just giving, giving new students access to see it. Um, however, it is good that, you know, it does take more time to set it up this way. So it's, it's nice to know that um, that setup was not in vain next semester.